Hello everyone. Plant viruses are among the most important plant pathogens. Virus infestation of cultivated areas result in a range of effects from reduced crop quality to complete plant devastation. Recent progress in understanding the molecular mechanisms underlying the roles of resistant genes has promoted the development of new antivirus strategies. In this module, we will study in detail the strategies to develop transgenic virus resistant plants. The learning objectives are to understand the transgenic approaches used for induction of viral resistance. These include coat protein mediated resistance, replicase mediated resistance, movement protein mediated resistance, RNA mediated resistance, as well as the use of plant defense genes for inducing virus resistance, namely the R genes or ribosomal inactivating protein coding genes. Viruses typically enter plant cells through cellular damage. Virus encoded proteins such as replicase, capsid protein and movement protein are translated within the host cell cytosol and cooperatively function in translation, replication, encapsidation and movement of the virus. The replication of viral genome may occur in the nucleus, DNA or in the cytoplasm RNA by virus RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Viral disease is caused due to the use of building blocks and energy from plant cells by the virus for its own replication. Virus resistance in plants can be achieved by genetic engineering approaches. Virus resistance can be conferred on plants by transferring virus derived genes including viral coat protein CP, replicase, movement protein, defective interfering RNA, non-coding RNA sequences into the susceptible plants. Non-viral genes like R genes, ribosome inactivating proteins, proteinase inhibitors, RNA modifying enzymes and single chain variable fragment antibodies have also been used successfully to engineer resistance to viruses in plants. We shall see some of these mechanisms. The virus coat protein has multiple functions in the course of virus replication and infection to the host plants. These include encapsidation, viral RNA translation, systemic movement, vector transmission and disease symptom severity. In the successful examples, transgenic plants expressing the CP gene of a virus provided resistance against the corresponding virus and related strains. For example, potato mosaic virus CP gene expressing in transgenic potato, TMV CP gene expressing in tobacco and papaya ring spot virus CP genes expressing in transgenic papaya. CP gene mediated resistance has been widely used. It may involve the following possible mechanisms. 1. The CP synthesized by a transgene is capable of subunit subunit interaction with the CP that is the coat protein during disassembly of the challenging virus. This interaction may ultimately prevent binding of ribosomes to the RNA of the invading virus. The third mechanism where coat protein may confer resistance against coat T viruses by interacting with nuclear inclusion protein B, a replication protein specific to coat T viruses. However, CP mediated resistance does not appear to work for plant infecting DNA viruses. The transgenic plants expressing coat protein gene also showed enhanced resistance to infection to other closely related viruses. Resistance was related to the level of expression of the viral coat protein but not when the RNA of the virus was introduced into the plant cell, suggesting that Resistance resulted from inhibition of the dissociation of inoculum virus particles into protein and genomic RNA and could be attributed to interactions between the transgenic and inoculated virus coat protein. Replicase and RDRP sequences from several RNA viruses expressing proteins have been described as sources inducing protection against viruses. Transgenic constructs using for induction of resistance include full length truncated or mutated versions of the rep or RDRP gene of corresponding viruses. The rep protein produced by the transgene interferes in some manner 
with the function of the replicase produced by the virus. Perhaps by binding to host factors or virus proteins that regulate replication and virus gene expression. The resistance is also expressed through reduction in movement protein. It has been shown that the above resistance responses do not require translation of the rep protein but may be mediated at the RNA level and is termed as post transcriptional gene silencing. The rep mediated resistance remains confined only to a narrow spectrum of plant viruses and is not as effective as CPMR that is the code protein mediated resistance. Plant viruses encode movement proteins that facilitate them to spread the virus locally and systemically by modifying the gating function of the plasmodesmata. The viral movement includes plasmodesmata and the channels that extend through plant cell walls. A transgenic plant that expresses mutated movement protein may show resistance to viruses through competition for plasmodesmatal binding sites and thus provide resistance against the targeted virus. In addition, the movement protein mediated resistance strategy yielded broad spectrum resistance by interfering with the spread of distantly related and unrelated viruses. These proteins either interact with plasmodesmata or form tubules to allow intercellular trafficking of virions or form tubules to allow intercellular trafficking of virions and or ribonucleoprotein complexes. In addition, movement proteins also have a DNA-RNA binding domain and the transgenic mutated movement proteins interfere with the native mu movement protein mediated plasmodesmatal trafficking of viral DNA or RNA. An advantage of this strategy is that it offers a broad spectrum resistance to diverse plant viruses that are dependent on the same type of plasmodesmata components for the establishment of infection. In addition to protein mediated resistance, the expression of viral code protein, movement protein and rep genes in transgenic plants lead to RNA mediated resistance. RNA mediated virus resistance is brought about by inactivation of a virus encoding the same sense RNA as that expressed by the transgene. RNA mediated sequence specific gene silencing is elicited by formation of double stranded viral RNA in transgenic plants. This leads to the generation of small RNAs by the activity of dicer like enzymes coded by the plant genome. Three different sources of double stranded RNA serve as substrates for plant DCL enzymes to produce viral siRNAs. Primary viral siRNAs arise from double stranded RNA produced by the virus. Secondary viral siRNAs arise from double stranded RNA synthesized by a plant RNA dependent RNA polymerase using viral single strand RNA as a template. Some viral transcripts or single stranded RNA genomes have extensive secondary structure with intramolecular regions of partially double stranded RNA which can be targeted by DCL enzymes. Viral siRNAs direct to viral transcripts and genomes that are complementary to the transgene derived siRNA strand that is loaded onto the RNA induced silencing complex or risk. This leads to post transcriptional silencing of the virus either by cleavage of the viral RNA or by bringing about DNA methylation in double stranded DNA viral genomes. Viral resistance due to gene silencing is known to spread systemically by movement of the siRNAs through the vascular system of the plant. Some plant viruses however are known to produce silencing suppressors which leads to an abolishment of resistance. The plant R genes that is the resistant genes encode proteins that participate in a general surveillance to identify a specific pathogen. These proteins consist of a nucleotide binding domain and a leucine rich repeat domains. The NBLRR R genes can be further subdivided into tall interleukin 1 receptor and coiled coil types. The R protein interacts directly with an avirulence or AVR gene product of a virus. 
an incompatible reaction in a specific plant R gene virus combination results in a hypersensitive reaction where the cells around the infected cell undergo programmed cell death resulting in isolation of viral infections. Such responses in resistant plant genotypes are also known to trigger a systemic acquired resistance which signals a highly resistant state for further virus challenge. Ribosome inactivating proteins are RNA and glycosidases that specifically remove purine base at A4324 of 28S rRNA resulting in separation of the 3' prime end of the substrate RNA. Thus, the rRNA becomes incapable of participating in the translation. Poke wheat, Phytolacca americana, leaf extract when co-inoculated with TMV contained a rib called a poke wheat antiviral protein, PAP. The cDNA sequence for PAP was subsequently isolated and transgenic tobacco and potato plants expressing PAP showed remarkable resistance to infection by viruses. PAP is exported to the cellular matrix and thus protects the poke wheat ribosomes. Whereas, in the transgenic tobacco, upon mechanical injury, transgene expressed PAP can gain entry into cytoplasm and denutralize the ribosomes before viral RNA can be translated and thus resistance is achieved. It is interesting to note that several ribs of plant origin actually are polynucleotide and glycosylases that can remove adenine bases from DNA and RNA substrate including those of genomic RNAs of artichoke, mortal crinkle virus and TMV and thus might affect viral RNAs in the cytoplasm of infected plant cells. Mutated P24 protein, a movement protein of potato virus X, PVX, was expressed in transgenic tobacco plants. Upon inoculation with tobacco mosaic virus, TMV, the size of necrotic local lesions was significantly smaller in P24 positive plants than in non-transgenic control plants. Similarly, an RNAi construct targeting the near full length coat protein of CBSUV was expressed constitutively as a hairpin construct in cassava. Transgenic cassava lines expressing small interfering RNAs, siRNAs against this sequence showed 100% resistance to CBSUV. The module can be summarized as viral coat proteins, movement proteins and replicases offer a means of inducing virus resistance in plants using transgenic approaches. RNA mediated gene silencing through formation of silencing RNAs from double stranded viral RNAs is an effective way of developing virus resistance in plants. The plant resistant genes that recognize different viral avirulins proteins and launch a defense response against viruses or ribosomal inactivating proteins which are present in the cell wall and enter cytoplasm in response to injury can be used to develop virus resistant transgenics. Some virus resistant transgenics have been commercialized for crops like cassava, papaya, squash, etc. Thank you.